Slowbro is the talk of the town with the new Cinderace 7-star Terror Raid Battle event in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Let's show you exactly how to build one so that you can solo the raids and carry your friends. Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with even more tips and tricks for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Today's video is all about showcasing a very fun Slowbro build that will help you solo all of the Cinderace raid battles. Yes, Slowbro is amazing with his typing and his defensive stats, and by doing this, you can actually carry a lot of your friends as well. I know that you guys want to get your hands on these Cinderaces, and I'm going to be hosting tons of live streams, so make sure that you guys are all on board with that by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. In case you guys missed it, we're doing a giveaway of a Nintendo Switch OLED so definitely check that out in the description but anyway let's jump into the build and show you exactly what's going on let's show you how to get your hands on a slowpoke so that you can evolve it into a slow bro now this pokemon is going to be available near a ton of lakes i would say your best bet is to head on over to the lake casa Royal over this way now the reason why we want to evolve our slowpoke into slow bro and not slow king is because it's going to be a lot more defensively bulky and since the Cinderace battles are all physical attacks, we want to make sure our physical defense is going to be through the roof. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to get this Pokemon. So here we go, we're at the Casaroya Lake, and what do you know, there's a Slowpoke right over here. That's exactly what we have to do. We're going to go over here and attempt to catch that. Uh, if you guys have Pokemon that... I don't know, are already ready to go with some false swipe moves. You can feel free to do that. I like to use my Garchomp or use a Quick Ball. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're at the point where this Slowpoke is at 54 right now, which is a very, very high level. So you're not going to have to spend so many of your XL candies or spending a lot of time with it. So yeah, anyway, grab this Slowpoke over here and you'll be all set. Choose whatever Pokeball of choice that you have. You can throw a Quick Ball first turn. You guys know me, I like doing Premier Balls because it's uh, it's going to be a lot more of a cool flex when you have all your Pokeballs just lined up like that. Anyway, first step is absolutely done. We are all set and ready to go with our Slowpoke over here. Now, it would help if your Slowpoke has the Terra typing of Psychic. It's not mandatory by any means, but as you guys can see over here, we got lucky. It's a 50-50 shot on whether it has a Water Terra type or a Psychic Terra type. So if you wanna really, really help out, make sure that it has that Psychic Terra typing. Okay, so now that we are here, what we're going to do is we're going to level up our Slowpoke to level 100. Uh, yeah, simply by going into our boxes, uh, going into our bag, right over this way. I've got a boatload of candy that I'm sitting on over here, so we might as well use it, right? Uh, we've got a bunch of large XL candy, so I'm going to use those right off the bat. It says uh, only 85 of them in order to level it up, so I'm down with that. Now, I did a lot of Charizard raids, so I have a boatload of these candies, but if you guys don't have a lot of these experience candies and you want to level up naturally within the game, feel free to do so. I've got a guide that showcases exactly how to do that. It's going to be in the top corner of the screen. Yeah, get that experience super easily. But anyway, carrying on. Our Slowpoke now is evolving into a Slowbro. And as I said earlier, Slowbro is a Pokemon that has a really, really high base defensive stat. And he's very bulky as far as HP goes, so he's going to do a lot of work. Not only can you use Slowbro for attacking, but you can use him as support as well. I'll show you guys all the builds in general. So... Now that we have our level 100 Slowbro, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to EV train him. EV training is going to be relatively easy in the game, but of course it's a little time consuming if you don't have a lot of money. Uh, luckily for you guys, I've got some guides that showcase how to go AFK and make tons of money within the game. So definitely take a look at the playlist in the description or that little icon in the top corner. You guys should be all set and ready to go. So uh, honestly, the, one of the best ways of making money is just selling all your junk that you have. Uh, if you take a look at your treasures area over here, you can honestly sell so much of your stuff. I've got like 170 some odd nuggets simply from all of the terror raid battles. So I'm gonna sell all those and boom, there's just about all the money that we need. So anyway, we're gonna move on out and we are going to EV train this Pokemon and it's gonna be pretty easy. So head on over here to Mesa Goza after selling a bunch of your belongings. It's gonna be easy to do that. What we need to do is really streamline this. So taking a look over this way, 
Chansey Supply is where we're going to get all of our EV training vitamins. What we want to do is we want to go over here and we want to buy 25 of these HP up, or you can buy 26 if you don't really care about min-maxing your uh, specific stats. So anyway, I'm buying HP up 25. I'll show you guys the exact build of how to do that. That's going to cost about a quarter million Poké Dollars. Easy peasy. We're also going to come over here to the Calcium. I'm going to buy 25 of those. Very simple. So... Uh, now that I've gone through and I bought the 25 of each, we're going to EV train this Pokemon and get them going. All right, I'm excited. So go to bag, uh, go over to your uh, your other items, and we're going to see HP up. We got 25 of them. We're going to use them on our slow bro. All 25 at a time, as you can see over here. Boom. Done. Next up is going to be that Calcium. Uh, we want to EV train in special attack. So we're going to give 25 of these. Um, you can give 26, but I'm recommending that we do 25 right now. Boom, 25, you're all set and ready to go. So uh, now giving 250 effort value points out of 252 leaves two extra ones. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some of our feathers in order to mitigate that. So feathers are going to be two right over here for health feather to make it 252 HP EVs. We're going to also come over here to special attack. We're going to use two of them as well. So now we have 252 in both those stats. Now, since there's a total of 510 EVs, we have six leftover. And with the six leftover, uh, what I'm going to do is invest them in defense. Done. That's in one extra point. So you guys can see uh, what you can see over here. We're not going to give it to Garchomp. We're going to go resist feather, use item, we're going to use it on this one, and there's going to be six left. Boom, easy peasy. We're going to give it one more defensive stat. Now we are 100% min-maxed on this. Now, in case this went way over your head on what exactly we're doing, that was way too fast for you guys, take a look in the top corner of the video. We have an EV training guide that really breaks down everything that we did, especially if you don't have a lot of money for it. Um, and if you guys are curious as to where to get all these feathers, you can find them in Lake Casaroya, just little sparkling spots. You might be able to get some. But anyway, like I said earlier, if you don't want to deal with min-maxing the feathers of 2, 2, and 6, you can just buy 26 of the calcium or 26 of the HP up and you're all set. Anyway, so this Pokemon is fully EV trained right now in 510 completely. That's great. Uh, what we need to do right now is change its nature. Head on back over to Chansey Supply. We'll be able to grab ourselves a Modest Mint. Modest Mint will allow us to deal 10% uh, more stats to our Pokemon over here in special attack. So I'm going to pay 20,000 for that. Super simple. Very, very easy. So now, as you can see over here, we have our uh, our bag. We're going to go over here to our other items, and then we're going to go over to our Modest Mint. As you can see, I have a boatload of those, 37. We're going to use this on our Slow Bro, and his stats are going to reflect the Modest Nature. All right, uh, what our next thing that we need to do is we need to hyper train him. We're going to get his stats completely maxed out as far as individual values goes. Head on over here to this area. And by doing so, we're going to buy five bottle caps. So go over to general goods. Uh, bottle caps are over here. We're going to buy five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Easy. You don't need six. This is just an extra 100,000. Yeah, it's a lot of money. But if you guys watch my guide on um, how to make money, you guys are all set. Okay, so hyper training. This is exactly what we want to learn, how exactly to do that. Now, this is the super abridged version of it, and if I'm going way too quick for you guys, don't worry, slow down the video, and uh, definitely take a look at my hyper training guide that we have available for you. It's gonna be linked top corner. You know, that top corner is actually working out pretty well, so I'm glad that you guys are on board with that. Anyway, we're flying over here to Montanavera. Montanavera will be the area where we can use our bottle caps in order to max out our individual values. So individual values are anywhere from 0 to 31. This one makes it so that every one of our stats is actually 31. So let's take a look. We have our slow bro right over here. Uh, you can see that we can judge him. All of his stats right now are decent, very good, very good, pretty good, decent. That's not what we want. Uh, we want a Pokemon that is going to uh, really have hyper trained on every single one of those. So here we go, bottle caps, super easy. We're gonna go HP, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Since Slowbro is not gonna be using its attack stat, you're gonna be saving 20,000 by not investing into it. So anyway, that's why I said buy five instead of six. Okay, super simple. Now we can take a look over here. 
we are just about ready to go. We want to go get our equip item right now. What is Slowbro going to carry? Now, a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of different things that it can carry. I would say for longevity purposes, I would recommend leftovers. Now you can also do the life orb in order to do a little bit more damage every time you attack at the sacrifice of taking your health away, uh, which totally can work out. I'm not knocking it by any means. Um, and you can also do Shell Bell. Um, the Life Orb is gonna be found in Mesa Goza's Deli Bird Presence. And then the Shell Bell is also found in the Deli, Deli Bird Presence in Lavincia. But right over here, we're just gonna do Leftovers because it's safe and it allows us to survive even further. And it's just an extra 20,000. So Leftovers right over here, we're gonna buy one of those. One serving of leftovers, and then we're gonna give that to our slow bro, and we're just about done. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, here we go. Go over to our slow bro. We're gonna go give an item to hold. Easy peasy. Done, done, done. We're gonna go all the way down to other items. It's gonna scroll down. Uh, you'll be able to find it starting with the L right over here. Boom. Oops, not metal coat. Here we go. Give it to Pokemon. We're going to give it to the slow bro. We're all set. We are all set, but. Uh, there's actually one more thing that we need to do, and that's going to be the entire move set. Yes, yes. The move set is going to be relatively easy, so let's take a look at exactly what we're going to learn. Um, it's going to be a move set of Iron Defense, Nasty Plot, Stored Power, and then it's going to be Chilling Water or Slack Off, depending on what you want to do for the fourth item or for the fourth move. So if you guys already have these TMs, obviously you can get them in the TM machine over here, but I know that some of you guys don't have them, so let's go find them in the overworld. Go, we are going to find Iron Defense. And that's going to be found right over here in the mountains. I think it's going to be in this little island. Yeah, this is exactly it. This island right over here. So if you have access to this watchtower, fly over this way, and we can go pick up the iron defense move, which will help you out. And I'll show you guys exactly how to use this entire set very soon. Okay, so here we go at South Province Area 3. As you guys can see over here, you may need glide and climb and super jump, all that fun stuff. I'm presuming that you've already beaten the game. Uh, anyway, here we go. Area 5. This right over here is none other than Iron Defense. Perfect. Great. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to go get Stored Power. Stored Power is relatively easy. You can find that literally over here. So I'm going to mark that on the map. We're going to go over to the Colonnade Hollow, uh, which is next to the Port Marinata. We should be able to get that really quick. Nasty Plot is a little bit harder to find, but I'll show you where that is immediately after this. So anyway, pass this Wild Terra Pokemon over here against the wall, and you can see that this is going to be our TM right here for stored power. Very, very simple. Okay, Nasty Plot, a little bit harder. Um, if you want to use uh, one of the teachers in the school, you can go talk to the history teacher, and then she ends up giving you Nasty Plot, but I'm not about to go tell you guys to go into school and learn all that stuff. I'm just gonna tell you guys to head on over here to the Great Crater and uh, right outside of Research Area 2, we'll be able to find that very simply. So here we go. Go over to the warp, you are all set. Go to Research Station number two. Easy peasy. Now we're done over here in Research Station number two, we're going to head outside. Uh, some of you guys may not have gotten to this point in the game, so that's gonna be a little bit harder for you. So anyway, keep on playing and you'll be all set. If you don't have access to Nasty Plot, Calm Mind will work just as well. So find the Calm Mind TM and then you'll be all set and ready to go with that. All right, so anyway, coming on over this way, this TM right over in the corner here is going to be your Nasty Plot. So let's pick that up. Okay, Nasty Plot done and done. Okay, so head on over to any Pokemon Center, and we are going to be able to give our last move, which, like I said earlier, is going to be Chilling Water, in case you want to debuff the attack stat off of Cinderace, or it could be Slack Off, depending on if you want to get a lot more health back. Both of them can work out for you. There's no right or wrong answer. As long as you have the first three moves, you'll be golden and ready to go. So if you guys want Slack Off, that's going to be super easy. Just go over here to Check Summary. Uh, go over to Learn Moves. You can go Remember a Move. And I believe he's got Slack Off. Yeah, he's got Slack Off over here already. So it already heals half of his health. You're done with that. Um, now, the uh, next move, Chilling Water, is going to be given to you by what the the water gym 
So that's going to be a water gym one time only. But of course, if you want to make it again, uh, you can go over here to the water one. Uh, and then you can see over here that chilling water is available. So you can get Psyduck down, Surskit syrup. Like you have this move available for you. So I'm going to make one really quick because I used my other one on another slow bro. Uh, and yeah, you're all set. So as long as you beat the water gym, you're golden with that. So here we go. Chilling, water, you were all set and ready to go. I'm going to put that over here. As you can see, that uh, Slowbro does learn Heal Pulse. He also learns Rain Dance, which are moves that are very good for support if you want to run that. So if you're going to run a full-on support build, I would probably do Rain Dance, Heal Pulse, um, using the Chilling Water, and your choice of Slack Off or anything like that. But anyway, he's a really good support Pokemon. But anyway... We're going to be talking about the solo raid that we can actually um, knock out with this. So anyway, all right, so let's take a look at it. We now have our Pokemon all set and ready to go. All we have to do is teach them the moves that we had from TMs. So here we go. Press the A button. Use TMs to learn moves. We're going to start off with, uh, yeah, let's do Iron Defense first because that's going to be our first order of operations is going to be exactly that move. So uh, we do need Psychic, so we'll take that. No, actually, we're not using Psychic. Psychic can work, but this is not the build. Anyway, so there's Iron Defense. We're going to go Nasty Plot. And then we're also going to learn Stored Power, which is the ones that we all learned right over that way. We're not learning Psychic Terrain. That, that's an option. You can use Psychic Terrain uh, in order to do even more damage. Uh, instead of chilling water if you want to feel free like there's no wrong answer with that as long as you have the first three moves you're all set okay so anyway uh now that we have our slow bro over here we're going to check summary i'm going to give you guys the order of operations uh first is going to be the iron defense next is going to be nasty plot next is going to be stored power and chilling water is in case you need a little bit more help with debuffing him so yeah we are all set to go. As you can see over here, the ability for Slowpoke doesn't matter. You don't need Own Tempo. You don't need Oblivious. You don't need Regenerator. You don't need any of those because his abilities won't matter in this battle specifically. So anything is fine. As you can see over here, we are fully EV trained in Special Attack and HP. And of course, with a little bit more in defense, the leftovers over that way. And you can see at level 100, that's going to be 394 HP, which is gigantic, 257 defense, and of course, 328 attack. Monstrous. So heal up, and then now we're going to go find our Cinderace battle, and I'll show you guys the strategies involved with getting the entire thing soloed with the computers. And also, you can use this to help your buddies at home uh, with hard carrying them. Anyway... Um, in case you guys did not already unlock six-star raid battles, you're going to need to do so by doing X amount of raids um, in post-game and doing the uh, Ace Academy tournament and, of course, doing the um, like the gym leader rematches. And then, once you're ready, connect to the internet by going uh, into your menu, uh, clicking on the L button so that it would download a quick data packet and show you when this event is, and we are going to go find it. So that's super simple. I was right over there. So, as you can see, what we're going to be looking for is the shining uh, little pink icon with the fist on it. That's exactly the one. So, luckily, there was one right nearby. Now, keep in mind that the Cinderace event is a limited time only. You're going to have to take a look at the Poke Portal for the dates and times specifically on when that is. Uh, it's not going to be available all the time. So, if you guys are watching this after the event is over with, then try to trade for your Cinderace. All right, anyway. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over there. And uh, we will show you the strategy involved with getting your Cinderace with only this Pokemon. It's going to be so fun and very easy. So right over here, we're going to put our Slowbro right up on top. And we're going to jump in. All right, here we go. So this is it. We're going to click on Challenge Alone against the 7-star Cinderace battle. We have a fully EV trained, fully hyper trained Slowbro with uh, the ability to use Chilling Water and Stored Power and Iron Defense, and Nasty Plot. It's actually going to be really fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this was actually one of the first builds that I used to solo my Cinderace, so it works out perfect. I'll show you guys what happens. All right, so here we go. In real time, you guys can do this along with. It'll work. It'll be slightly different based on what partners come out over here. Um, the Intimidate off of the Arcanine is very helpful, so thank you so much for that, which is the random computer person. So he just uses bulk up. He's going to boost his defensive stats. 
honestly doesn't matter for us. What we need to do is just, we need to use Iron Defense three times. Uh, the main idea for this set is going to be the concept of using Stored Power. How Stored Power works is that it's a base 20 attack, but depending on how many boosts your Pokemon has, you will be able to boost that by 20 base damage every single time. So if we use one Iron Defense, that's going to be adding a plus two to our Pokemon, meaning an extra 40 to our already 20. Uh, using it three times is going to be three times 20 is 60, plus the base of 20 is base 80. That, that's great. It's super strong. Um, 20, 40... 60. Oh, that's actually more than that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you can take a look over here. Dude, it's too early for math. Let's take a look. Um, if we press the Y button, we can see um, that, yeah, we're all set with six boosts over here. Now we need to do the six boosts of special attack, which is this way here. So yeah, doing the six boosts and then the additional six boosts. Wow, that's 12. Woof. 12 times 20 is 240 plus the base 20 is 260 base power. Wow. That's going to be very strong. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Love that, man. It's just very, very strong. And uh, what's really fun is if you use Chilling Water three times at the very beginning, you can already have your Terrastalization ready to go so that you can completely nuke him. Uh, as soon as that shield comes up. So that's what's really fun about this. Now, you'll also notice that Cinderace uh, has a shield that puts up and he also just completely wipes all of your stats. So you gotta be a little bit careful with this. So here's Nasty Plot, it's working just fine. What we'll see right now is, uh, is stored power in general. Let's see if it uh, does the work. And you can see that we've, we've got a lot of HP with longevity over here. Here's the shield that it's going to inevitably, inevitably put up, which is fine. Uh, it's unfortunate that it does that because if you try to store power a little bit beforehand, uh, you may have done massive damage, but that's okay. Here comes stored power number one. Uh, it's a big chunklet. It's going to make him a little bit afraid, and then he's going to wipe all of our stats. And it's okay if he wipes it all. Like, that's okay. That's not a problem. We're just going to have to boost up again. Wow. Yeah, here he goes. So we're just going to keep on using stored power. Acrobatics is going to do its work. Whatever. We're shrugging it off because we're max HP and max attack. Okay, so now he removed all the negative effects from itself, which is perfectly fine. Now he nullified all of our stat changes, unfortunately. So our stored power is not going to do any damage when it comes down to it. It's perfectly fine, doesn't even matter. We got a big chunk of damage just by doing all of those attacks right there. Now you can see over here that we are going to be continuing to use Iron Defense. Uh, this can indeed work out for us. Uh, my health right now is not so hot, but with leftovers, we should be fine in just a little bit. So he's going to continuously use Acrobatics. We're at 150. We're at like half health right now. Not that big of a deal. We just need to boost back up to plus 6 on Defense and Special Attack. So I'll show you guys this right now. Alright, there we go. So that's our third one. It's very strong. Wow. This one's 140 base power if we were to fire off one of these uh, immediately, but I think we're good. With 164, we're fine. Uh, we did unfortunately get the burn right now, so that's really not good. What you can do to mitigate the burn, uh, you can use a heal cheer if you really wanted to, but I mean, it's inevitable that you might get burnt again, so really doesn't, doesn't matter all that much. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're going to continue to nasty plot. If you're noticing that your slow bros, um, his... HP is running really, really dangerously low, and you don't want to waste your slow bros, like all of his buffs, you can easily just fire off a stored power, and you should be able to do that no problem. Now, like I said earlier, you're going to have mixed results based on if you use Shell Belt, based on if you use um, 
the life orb or I don't know any of the other items that you want to equip I think leftovers works a little bit safer because it keeps on giving you more HP and you just have to sit back and really just boost up in order to knock this dude out so anyway so he's not going to erase all of our stat changes uh, if we're lucky <laughs> So you can see over here, uh, we have one more. We got one more nasty plot to do. And then we are literally at plus 12 in our stats. Which, like I said earlier, 12 times 20 is 240. Plus the original, 2260 base power is actually really strong. You can see over here that my HP is at 140. Doesn't even matter. He's bulking up, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage this way. If I were... To squeeze out a turn to do Chilling Water, I can Terrastalize with this Stored Power and do even more damage. Uh, so I'll show you that real quick. I'm just going to do one Chilling Water. Honestly, the Chilling Water would have been better at the very beginning, but it doesn't even matter. Uh, like I said earlier, the, the last move on your move set doesn't matter to you. Okay, so anyway, we broke that for him. <laughs> and I just wanted to make sure that we completely destroy this guy. And for extra credit, if we really wanted to, we can Terrastalize and end him literally right now with Stored Power. As you guys can see, we have six points up on defense. We have six points up on special attack. Put that all together, and you have the Slowbro that's going to be doing a massive amount of damage. 260 base power, same type attack bonus, super effective, terrestrialized. It's phenomenal. Boom. So there you have it. And we got a crit on it, dude. Bonus points at home, if you can do the math in the comments right now of how much damage that did over there, right? How much base power was that? Are you guys good at calculating base power in, uh, in Pokemon? 260, super effective, terrestrialize, same type of attack bonus, and crit. Bonus points to whoever can figure that out. Anyway, that's a lot of damage, as you guys can see over there. Now, you beat Cinderace all by yourself. It's super easy. You're going to get a boatload of experience candy so that you can build the next Pokemon for the raids. And, of course, we have plenty of other Pokemon that will do this job outside of Slowbro. So stay tuned, and I'll give you those builds very, very soon. And there you have it, everyone. Slowbro! He is actually really, really good against Cinderace. And building one of these is definitely an investment for any other physical attackers that might come into raids in the near future. So definitely build him, tuck him away in your boxes, and let's get this going. Now, as you know, there are a lot of people online right now that really don't know how to play these terror raid battles. And if you're gonna go online randomly, you, there's like it's like a gamble on whether or not you're going to end up winning because people are bringing a whole bunch of random stuff. Yes, I get it. They're not all Pokemon masters like you and I, so we have to help educate those guys and tell them that it only takes a little bit of time in order to bring a raid Pokemon into that. So let's share the video. Let's spread the word about Slowbro and how awesome he is on not only support, but he's great on attacking as well. You guys are great. Thanks so much for watching. And like I said earlier, if you guys want to see more of these guides, we've got more for you. The next one that we're going to make is based off of Armor Rouge. He's a very awesome Pokemon and a good counter to Cinderace. And I'll show you exactly how to build them so that you guys are all set and ready to go. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for subscribing and take care.